hi everybody welcome to my channel thank you so much for being here today we are talking all things byron fragrances one of my favorite indie brands on the market no questions asked and oh my gosh my favorite fragrance of all time was from this list how has things been since then there's been no changes in that respect but so much to love from this house i thought about rating these fragrances in order of how much i love them and each time i wore one i realized you know what these fragrances i actually love so much i can't even come here and say i love this more than this they all are special in their own ways so let's do this byron fragrance collection so we've had four releases from this house and let's start off with the last releases and we can go down in that uh, category like that so starting off with the last release in the last release there were three fragrances so we had a black dragon a pillar fragrance and we had uh, two frankers pirates and mila mila how do these frankers compare to the original and i've done a video on this so you can check that out i'm gonna link all the videos that i've spoken about some of these fragrances in the description down below do check it out anyway so the the flanker for mula mula and that's the flanker and this is our original mula mula and this was the first packaging so this is where we're coming from i don't know if you can see the difference in the bottles so yes that's where we are coming from so the flanker for mula mula absolutely gorgeous fragrance and i will tell you that this franca is actually a bit more just slightly more refined than the original a bit more woody as well it's not as sweet but all in all it's a beautiful gorgeous unisex fragrance and it's just absolutely lovely in there you do have strawberries there's cherry and this is what we had we had more fruits added to this so it's very very tastic yes we had cherry we had strawberry there's raspberry as well and we did have ginger there's rose and there's uh, rose bay there's caramel as well as well in this you do get some wood there's patchouli there's sandalwood and there's vanilla so you can see how it differs from the initial composition but all in all a gorgeous this is so gorgeous oh so gorgeous hello it's just a stunning refined fragrance and this is quite unique fragrance these fragrances are are quite in the league of their own like they're not fragrances you smell it and you think hmm i smelled this in the in that fragrance they are quite unique so mula mula and this is rouge extreme by byron fragrances gorgeous gorgeous fragrance right moving on I think at this point we could speak about the OG Mula Mula as well. So the OG Mula Mula, of course, in this one you do get there's some cypress oil, there's nagamotha, and you do get some benzoin, there's patchouli vanilla, peru balsam. We still do get some pepper, there's pink pepper in here, ginger as well. So a bit different from the original, but they are not that massive difference between them they are both gorgeous fragrance and this one is much more fresher and sweeter and i find this lasts as well slightly longer than the flanker and as well this is this i'm talking about 12 13 hours it's still on your skin it's just unique it's absolutely gorgeous my one for life like this fragrance they are both lovely fragrances and it's it's quite hard but what i will say this one tends to lean a bit more feminine and the franca the rouge extreme tends to lean a bit more masculine because of that wood even though you have lots of uh, berries there are some fruits because of that um those patchouli and that uh wood it just uh ca does kind of even things out making it a bit more masculine and again the wood is not like skunky wood in your face it's just a lovely clean wood absolutely gorgeous 
and for me I'm just glad I have both of them because it's so hard for me to have to choose between these two I wouldn't want to be in that position I'm glad I have both because they are equally stunning moving on let's talk about Byron Man oh my gosh this one I don't have a bottle I've got their travel size and look how much is left not much now so this is Byron Man yes and Byron Man is from their previous release so this was from the third release and in this release we had Byron Man and we had Zaire limited editions now sold out so unfortunately I can't even get them I'm just glad I have this and now I have to reach and sever this because and this is so so lovely it's almost like lovely yummy almost like sweet but it's a bergamot bergamot not like bitter bergamot but it's so inviting so luxurious and this obviously being a byron man it's for a man but you know what this is utterly unisex to my nose like ladies if you had the chance you found this pick it up it's absolutely gorgeous just smells so divine there's that lovely bergamot there's some cardamom it's just a beautiful composition i did look up the notes as well for byron man yes the cardamom at the top with coriander and bergamot a glorious composition just opens up it's so lovely it is absolutely lovely like oh i wore it the other day and my husband goes oh that is so nice what is it as are you forgotten because we I haven't worn it for so long because I haven't got much left so <laughs> I'm kind of severing the little sprays left in this in the heart you do get some rhubarb there's a rum and there's jasmine and iris and then in the base there's myrrh there's leather vanilla and sandalwood this this was quite a departure from the Byron DNA that we got used to. It just went in a completely different direction, which is quite nice. Brought a lovely versatility to the whole collection and it's just a glorious fragrance. It's so beautiful and that rum, that and how it adds up. This is a lovely boss uh, fragrance especially for the office like signature scent worthy this one gorgeous fragrance byron man and i don't see many people talking about byron man anymore but gorgeous fragrance if you get a chance get a sample try it and let me know moving on we get to oud bourbon oud bourbon i spoke about and i said this this fragrance is utterly underrated like more people need to sample this more people need to enjoy this because it's a gorgeous 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 fragrance let's go up here <sighs> look at that spray you guys oh child oh i could really bathe in this <sighs> we are dripping <laughs> in hood bourbon <laughs> gorgeous fragrance yes this is one of the fragrance again i said this before i feel it's underrated because oud bourbon is absolutely a stunner of a fragrance and again this is this leans a little bit more masculine but as you get into the dry down once you pass the opening it does tend to be a bit more vanilla therefore this is utterly unisex but i would say whilst being unisex i would say it leans a bit more masculine and if you read oud bourbon and you think oh this is gonna be oudy boozy do not be put off absolutely not there's not a lot of oud in this. If anything, it's more vanilla than oud, at least to my nose. And the listed notes in this one, so you get at the top, there's violet, saffron, and nerori. I'll tell you one thing, that violet, that saffron, oh my gosh, makes for such a stunning, luxurious fragrance. Smells so luxurious, so divine, it just gorgeous and then in the mid you do get vanilla jasmine and black currant again lovely mm, yummy sweet but all toned down with those uh mask and the wood in the base and then you get a sandalwood in there as well it's just lovely oh byron fragrance says hello still can't wait what else are they gonna release what's coming up i can't wait because oh my gosh byron fragrances like every time they release fragrances guaranteed you're gonna find the love like all their fragrances it's very hard to sample this collection and feel like hmm i'm not sure which one i like 
these are like oh i love this i love this it's not good for the pest not at all but gorgeous fragrance yes so oud beben really not so woody but lovely venery and as well very classy this is like hmm i'm mad who i'm well put together this is like very very mature like not for the young you know because i don't know about you <laughs> a lot of the time it's like the older you get the finer test you kind of acquire along the way obviously with experience and this is for those people well put together very nice you know just posh you know i've got money in the bank you know like um yes <laughs> that kind of vibe that's what i get from oud beben you want to smell amazing without all the dough in the bank yes check it out yes oud beben again underrated stunning fragrance the when it gets in the draw down it things just oh that jasmine comes out that vanilla and then you get those masks as well like sandalwood as well just makes for a beautiful composition right moving on let's go and talk about another fragrance which i absolutely adore i love this fragrance and this fragrance is just wow and this is none other than did you guess did you guess yes it's not mula mula obviously we've spoken about those so we have black dragon yes black dragon <laughs> gorgeous so unique so lovely gorgeous coconut oh my gosh coconut yes please there's coconut in here there's honey there's pineapples it's got so much going on and it makes just for a luxurious very lovely oh, i adore black dragon if you can't tell yes so black dragon at the top you get some honey there's pineapple you do get mango as well mm, lovely tropical gorgeous and then in the heart you do get some cigar there's bourbon vanilla sandalwood and the base has patchouli amber and masks and you know what the end result is a yummy tastic gorgeous kind of boozy tropical vanilla it's just gorgeous glorious composition and this is really 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 lovely it performs and as well that bourbon and the vanilla just dominates the composition and it's just stunning and that composition and that combination of the bourbon i think with the honey kind of creates a coconut uh, vibe about this and i know it's not listed but i've said always i've said this to my nose i get coconut in this fragrance it's a glorious for composition just i find this fragrance so so addictive addictive like is i don't want to spray it because look where my bottle is and it's like ah no 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 <laughs> we need to save these these are kind of getting special like i said before i'm kind of oh, i don't want to buy fragrances every day now <laughs> yes so and as well it's annoying because maybe you go back you love a fragrance and oh my gosh they are sold out so yes let's move on moving on we come to another fragrance and let's talk about these side by side so this is pirates we have the franca from yes from last year well end of last year so pirates 2 or and we do have pirates and i've said this before this is again some of the fragrances i find quite underrated from the house because pirates is so, so addictive it's so gorgeous it's like smelling pirates is beyond experiencing a fragrances it's like it gets to my soul like mm, pirates you know I, I sometimes actually spray pirates when i want to meditate yes so just calmly sitting there and just taking in those tubers and those flowers it's just oh gorgeous yes so in pirates in the original the original to me it's more floral a bit floral woody and when it comes to the 
uh, Franca. I'll be honest, they are not too very different, but the Franca is obviously got some lily of the valley. It's got a uh, pear and bergamot, and the in the mid you do get some tuberose. In long, long there is jasmine patchouli in the base with white masks, ambergris, and cedar. And to my nose, this the or the the Franca is more kind of amplified it's a bit more like what you get in the first one then add the lily of the valley and it's just a beautiful composition and the pear as well just gorgeous and i feel like the franca is more for like dead night it's more like feminine it can it is unisex but i would say it leans a bit more feminine but it's more like dead night and it's more like evening wear whereas the original would be more like a day wear just gorgeous fragrances they both smell they project and they both last more than 12 hours just absolutely gorgeous and in the original again that tuberose with that pair it's just gorgeous 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 stuff i spread a bit uh, before as well and yeah but i'm just going back to other things as well just absolutely lovely gorgeous stuff and these fragrances smell so unique and you know what pirates is one of my most complimented fragrances in my old collection like every time i wear it it's like oh wow what is that and even with Mula Mula, like every time i wear it someone is gonna ask me what is that it smells so lovely i tell them the name and it's mostly people asking they're not even faggots then they're like oh i've never heard of that name before i've never heard of that brand before and um, yes because you know <laughs> yes and as well uh, the pirates can be a signature scent just gorgeous stuff this is a fragrance you wear you're gonna enjoy it to those around you are gonna enjoy it just absolutely amazing gorgeous stuff right moving on last but not the least we come to the end of our countdown and at the end of the countdown we come to this fragrance and again a fragrance I've highly spoken about this is none other than the chronic yes the chronic and oh my god looking at this is making me a bit sad look <laughs> the chronic but this is happening for a good reason because this is a drug this is so addictive. This is so gorgeous. Ambery, sweet, caramel. There's cinnamon in here. It's just, it's a glorious composition. But as always, don't take my word for it. Always, always sample for yourself. And if you've sampled anything on this list, please let me know in the comments below. What is your favorite? Where would you start from if you if you were just to begin getting into this house? Like, what would you be your first buy? I'm curious. And this is not a sponsored video, by the way. So just in case you're wondering, yes, disclosure, not sponsored, could be, but yes, gorgeous, the chronic, just a stunning, it's a stunning unisex fragrance, so unique, like. This is a composition you try it and you're like, you can't even come back and say, oh my gosh, I smell this in that. No, it's got even, I think, some ginger. It's lovely. The Chronic is so stunning. And <laughs> Byron Fragrances are so stunning. Oh my gosh. I'm off because at this point, I should just go and uh, enjoy myself with just uh, chilling with these fragrances. <laughs> Thank you so much if you watched to the end and do not forget to like and subscribe and if you loved this video give us a thumbs up as well feedback is always always appreciated is there any collection from my house which fragrance house you would like me to talk about if i have enough from the house of course i will so let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching i shall see you very soon have a lovely day go on go and be awesome smelling lovely at it as well. Bye now.